Hi, it's Paris at Epic Reviews. Today I'm going to talk about the car dock that I finally got for my phone. My phone is the Galaxy, the Google Galaxy Nexus, actually from Google. I use it on T-Mobile Network. Um, one of the car docks, so the battery will last when I'm running the GPS. Here's the box that it comes in. And there's not a whole lot to it, but I'm curious to see if it will go into a car mode like my last phone did. And pieces you get with it, as it shows on the cover there, are the dock itself, which is right here, that the phone slides into, suction cup on the end to stick it on the windshield, and then the other part is the car charger that plugs into the dock. And the thing that is going to make this work, if it does, are these pins here, they're called the pogo pins, the three little uh, dots there. When the electricity comes through that, it should activate and go into dock mode. It works pretty well on my uh, bedside dock that I have for it. I'm going to see how it works on the car dock. Okay, got the dock here in my Honda minivan. I'm going to try to stick this guy up here. It seems there's a little switch right here at the bottom that you throw that activates the suction cup and makes it hold on. Let's see if I can actually do this with one hand and figure out where I want the phone to be. Maybe around here. I stick the suction cup thing on there and then I throw this switch down. Oh, hey that actually worked pretty well. Okay, so there that goes. Now, let's see how the phone goes in here. The pins are there and there are the pins waiting to catch it. Hmm, oh, ah! Okay, I better work on that some more. Okay, I managed to get the phone in there. All it took was some pushing and shoving. It um, basically seems to have a rubberized lip around the edge, and so it's just a matter of forcing the phone into that. As soon as I put the phone in, the screen came on, though I don't have the, uh, the power cord attached yet. The power cord's going to attach right over here, which right next to it is a spot for external speakers to plug into your uh, external out of your car, because I just noticed that and I don't know if you can see this, in the back here there's a little hole for uh, an opening where your phone speaker comes out. So if you don't plug it into an external source, this dock doesn't provide any extra speaker function. My last phone did. Anyhow, I'm going to plug, take the phone back out, plug the power in, pop the phone back in, see what happens. Okay, seems uh, to have activated when I finally got it all set up and plugged in and working. It's activated this little icon, oh, too close to focus, in the top left it's the, um, the one for car mode. When I flip this down, it shows me car mode enabled. So it's working fine in landscape mode, works fine in portrait mode. It does have the, um, the car mode icon up in the top left. So when you go to navigation, it uh, comes right up. Seems to be a little bit different view than um, when I do it as handheld. We've got the, the power cord plugged in over there, and of course in the cigarette lighter down here. There's an additional plug over here for the, um, the speaker if you have an external um, input in your car, which I have down here underneath this little thing. I can plug a speaker wire, but of course I've already got this wire now, sort of making the the well, aesthetics of the car look messy, which of course you always have that with the, the car dock and your GPS deal. But anyway, I think one wire is enough. With the Bluetooth audio, I can actually have the GPS turn-by-turn uh, um, -turn instructions come through the car speakers, as well as whatever I have on Google Play, whatever music I have there will play through the speakers too with Bluetooth. So that really means I don't need to use the external input, and um, this should work pretty well. Of course, I can't play any music with this being YouTube and all. But um, I've tried it and it does work really well. It sounds really good. It sounds like full stereo or even quadraphonic sound. So this is the dock. Mainly you will use it um, when I need to use GPS. It is kind of hard to pop the, the phone in and out. I'll show you that. Um, let me unplug it here first. Don't want to create sparks. You have to, there's a hole in the back on this side and you push and the phone just kind of plops out. By the way, there is, um, you've got the button here and you've got buttons here for the volume so you can uh, access your normal buttons for the phone. But to pop it out here, 
Oh, yeah, see, I want to have another hand over there to catch it in case the phone just goes flying. Also, the phone has gotten warm. That always happens with the docks. It's especially bad here in Texas where it gets so hot on a sunny day and the sun shines on the dock and the phone. The phone will just get roasting. Must be 110, 120 degrees. The other thing that's warm, I noticed, was the... Um, the uh, car phone uh, charger, the part that plugs in the cigarette lighter, had gotten very warm. So I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I can feel it getting a little loose. How I'm going to take this in and out every single time I've got to get in and out of the car is beyond me. I'm trying, yeah, there's volume button. Okay. I'm hoping there might be some other button to release this, but there appears to be nothing. You've just got to force it out of the frame. <sighs> And there we go. Maybe I'll use it more on long trips. Okay, that's all for now.